Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the Lineage OS 20, which is based on Android 13 for our OnePlus 6 and the OnePlus 6T. So, without wasting any more time, let's start. Uh, yeah, let's start. So guys, this is the Lineage OS 20 on our OnePlus uh, 6 and OnePlus 6T. As you can see, the home screen, the wallpaper is looking really, really nice. The blurred out wallpaper. We have a lot of new wallpapers from Lineage OS, as you can see, and they look really nice. Each and every wallpaper is amazing. So yeah, you can choose any wallpaper, and this is like something different from Lineage. A really nice change in the Lineage uh, OS stuff, which is integrated into the ROM. Also, as you can see, new icons uh, with the stock uh, apps, as you can see. Uh, camera calendar everything also the audio effects uh, maybe with the new material design uh, they have adapted and this looks really really nice the icons look not those old ugly icons are really the ASP icons are really removed from the system right away by lineage OST and guys other than that uh, there are no like such visual changes this is lineage so it is like really close to stock and or 13 but it's very optimized and it is considered one of the best ROMs to use for your daily driver usage. As you can see also, let's go into about phone. If you go into Android version, Android version 13, uh, it has the latest 5 October 2022 security patch also. So that is also really nice. Now guys, this is an unofficial ROM, but it also does support uh, OT updates as it was mentioned in the XGA thread and it does support. So as you can see, the system going to update uh, and you will find this religious updater and it will push out unofficial builds and you can easily install it through the updater. So this is also going to work really flawlessly. I am on the latest 20th October build and yeah, if I get any update, I can just easily download and install it through here. So guys, there are a lot of options present here in Lineage OS to customize. Like uh, you can see the battery options here, we have the battery manager. The battery saver is also here and you can also customize it with the schedule and also oops, sorry we have the battery light so you can also customize the battery light and notification light works fine so yeah then going into the display uh, as you can see in the lineage os uh, live display feature we have color profile and you can choose from um, uh, four ranges here then we have the display mode you can just turn it off or you can just turn it to automatic that uh, it will adjust it uh, accordingly one thing is also here the anti flicker mode which is really nice as you can see if i turn it off and will you know uh, you can see those flicker that refreshing thing uh, on the screen so yeah just turn it on and it's really nice to shoot videos with this mode and we also have the reading mode which turn everything into black and white then color calibration and also picture adjustment is present so a lot of display uh, customizations present also we have double tap to wake and it works really fine so yeah first time i guess you know only my this part of the hand but oh it did now so yeah everything works fine according to like this thing then we have into the system we have buttons customization and we got uh here navigation bar power menu we also have advanced power menu to boot straight into recovery or fast boot if you want to switch roms if you want to install mods and stuff or additional stuffs then we also have uh, additional buttons and uh, the alert slider will mute media and you can just customize accordingly the positions and all then click to partial screenshot is also present in system profiles this is just um, normal stuff this is the status bar customization you can customize the icons and all the stuff the clock and all the battery style also as you can see you can hide the battery percent which is already hidden by default and then going into gestures we have your touch screen gestures uh, yeah, you can also try these. These are some nice gestures. I think this will work when the uh, screen is off. Let's try O and toggle the torch. Let's see. Oh yes, it did work. Let's again O and it shut down. It uh, turns off the torch. That's really nice. Then system navigation. We also have gesture navigation and we can also uh, just enable and disable the navigation hint so you can just remove that uh, annoying thing here from the screen then yes some basic options are also here quickly open camera and all that stuff and yep I already show you the updater so yeah that is all for the lineage OS features 
uh, the unofficial build as of now and maybe it will turn into official everything is going to remain same because yeah the updated and all stuff that is the add addition to the official and also it will be officially uh been like weekly the nightly releases will be done if it has the official status now let's move with the installation which is quite easy if you are installing roms on uh, the oneplus 6 and 60 so let's move towards it so guys let's begin with the installation and the first step you have to do is enable developer options and enable usb debugging on your phone now i am on lineage os 13 you might be on any other rom but the process is same so as you can see how to turn this on the usb debugging just connect your phone uh, download the required files i have already already posted the links in the description so you can easily uh, just you know now we have to start command uh, prompt cmd and open the platform tools directory here so we are just going to change the directory now we have to uh, just press adb reboot bootloader and your device will uh, ask for this thing uh, for adb access allow usb debugging and just allow it just uh, input the command again and it will reboot into the bootloader mode now you have to install the twrp recovery the latest one so download it from the links below in the description so fast boot boot and you have to select your image dot img Now device will reboot into the recovery mode. As you can see it has been rebooted into TLRV recovery mode. Now make sure your, uh, uh, if your storage is not there properly, uh, then as you can see in wipe, you cannot wipe the system and other stuff. We cannot format data, you may get an error. I may not get an error because I already did that. So in here, if it's not getting formatted, uh, you just have to reboot it again into recovery and use the wipe option then, then it will format. And format data and yes, and it will do that uh, thing for you. I'm not doing it again because I don't know, like it doesn't, it's not going to make any sense doing it again. Now you have to come back to your phone. This is only temporary thing and you have to uh, install oh sorry I guess uh, I'll just quickly move the zip to my phone I'm really sorry guys this is really bad so just move your the TWRP zip the installer and you have to install this I'll let it install now after this is installed you have to just go and reboot into recovery mode again now guys i wanted to format my data and i was trying it did not work and so i am going to uh, just try what i tried uh, before just uh, telling you guys if your uh, storage gets encrypted and mine did and it was unable i was unable to format data and i was really like feeling bad to just again boot into fast boot and again go back there so i just flash the twrp installer again the zip and then reboot into recovery and it was able to format it data again so yeah you can also use this uh, option to just uh, i don't know maybe to just solve that error the formatting error if you ever just uh, get your storage encrypted now guys moving further you have to go uh, after rebooting the recovery into advanced adb side load and just swipe to start side load and this will start side loading you just have to keep your device here now moving back to cmd uh, just choose adb devices and here you will see uh, a code and then side load so now your device is successfully connected now you have to type adb side load and you type that zip name 
so first is our lineage OS zip dot zip and as you can see the installation has started here on the phone so let it do its job and we'll skip this part so guys the rom has been installed you just have to reboot system from here and just forgot to tell you guys that this supports uh, oh sorry it comes with uh, uh, g apps pre-installed so there is no need to install g apps and now your device will reboot into lineage os and you can enjoy uh, lineage os the android 13 based lineage os really nicely and it's really smooth and you guys will love it so that is it for the lineage os uh, android 13 based lineage os 20 on our oneplus 6 and 60 and its installation so yep if you guys like the video press the like button if not the dislike button is also there and also you can leave the feedback down below in the comment section so i can make some improvements also if you have any queries you can post it down below in the comments if it's solvable i can solve it or else you can also put it down in the uh, xta uh, forum the link is also below in the description so yeah you can check and also put that uh, the queries there so yep yeah, that's it and goodbye and yeah it has started as you can see g apps the setup screen is here it means the g apps are already installed so yep yeah, that's it bye bye